If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. This is a disgrace. And when I saw this yesterday, I almost drove off the road. Adam Dunn went to the White Sox yesterday for $56 million, But we're going to buy the bats. Really? Which freaking one? You should have never showed me that. Ah, it's my mistake. And it's these people around town who, who profess themselves You're to be baseball about... professors, they might as well just get on their knees and do what Linda Lovelace used to do. You're talking about Chris Stoner. Who cares? What I don't care who I'm talking about. I'm any of you who think it's okay for them to lose out on Adam Dunn, get on your knees. It's a joke. 13 years of this, and they brought this dude in with his $150 sweater vest, and he hadn't done jack. But you know what? When you go out to the ballpark, you got to pay a couple dollars more for the right tonight. Hey, Glenn, you want to go to the game? Yeah, let's get some $10 seats. Oh, they actually cost 12 today. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm sick of it. Sign somebody. I don't care who it is. Sign freaking Lou Gehrig. <laughs> is he available? I take Bring him. Bring out. I take him. It's a f- freaking joke. <laughs> Dump button ready. Swear to God. I, Look, I'm with you, dude. I'm with hope you. Hope you didn't record that. I'm gonna go back and pull it off the uh, the stream. You We're sure? gonna put it in the audio vault. I'm just gonna have to go back and get it. It's gonna be a little while before it's up. I I, I can't stand it, dude. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. It's unthinkable. It is absolutely unthinkable. That the Orioles if offered... the football team ever did this, we would be lined up over there in Owings Mills with protest signs saying, when are you going to fix the team? If the football team pissed their franchise away like this, like this baseball team has done, we would be going nuts in town. They went 5-11 and and they fired the coach. 13 years of this. It's like not getting laid for 13 years. Eventually, you got to do something. Buy better cologne. Do something. <laughs> if you went 13 years and didn't hop in the sack with someone, it's probably you. Yeah, I, I would assume at that point. <laughs> Fuck, I can't get over it. And people defend them. Well, dude, you can't offer him. Yeah, you can't offer him any money. He might you know wanna... why? He might take it. Yeah, and he might want to play first base at some point. Oh, yeah, and he's not good there. Jesus. Really? And the best part is he yeah, showed me. Yeah, because I tell you what, Luke Scott reminded me of Mark Teixeira there. <laughs> yeah. Diving around, feeling. I'm, I, I can't remember. I remember all the games I watched where I went, Jesus, look at Luke Scott. He <laughs> looks like Mark Teixeira. That's a first baseman right there. <sighs> hey, hey, remember, this is the guy that said that Nolan Reimold will handle the job. Oh, yeah, you know why? <laughs> Just give him a month down at Norfolk. Yeah, he'll be ready to be a major league first baseman. God. Look, man, I'm completely with I'm you. I'm done. We're thorough. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I don't. I really don't know how we're doing the rest of the show now. You sort of you ruined it, the whole thing. Take a break. I just take, can't handle take it. Take a break. We'll play some Chicago coming back. Look, dude, what did you expect? Did you expect them to go get a good player? This this is the funniest part about I it. You know what? You know I'm going to beat you up for a second. The other, the you other not beat me up. No, hang on. Be your day you second. said something really funny the other morning. You did. And this is in a moment of complete honesty, and I'm pulling back the curtain a little bit. We were downstairs in our uh, weekly meeting, and we were talking about how we cover the Ravens. And we, it's very serious, the way that we cover the Ravens. We have to be at all the games. We're going, you know, the Ravens matter. We have to be there. And if 105.7 doesn't want to send anybody out to cover the games and they go on the road, and Jerry doesn't want to send anyone to cover the games and they go on the road, and those other stations in town and other media outlets in town don't want to cover the games on the road, that's fine. To us, we know the Orioles or the, the, the Ravens are important, so we do it. But you said something really funny. You said, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. 
We're going to have to cover the Orioles that way soon. Soon. We're going to have to do it. They're going to be, they're going to matter like that soon. And I nodded my head and I said, okay. When in reality, the first thing I wanted to say was, I don't think that's right. I'd like nothing more than for it to be right. But I got a bad feeling that it's not going to change. And every day I'm more convinced that it's not going to change. And the Orioles aren't going to matter in the next three years. And every day I'm reminded that this whole nonsense about once they're close, they'll do the right thing. They'll go out and make... You want proof that they're not going to do it? Here's your proof. Yeah, your proof is what happened yesterday. Four years, $40 million is your proof that they're not going to change just because they're closer. They're, it's not... This was the guy. This was the guy that fit the whole profile they were looking for. This was the guy. Younger than all the rest of these guys. You didn't have to worry about, well, you know, in year four, you know, this is what these 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 idiots are saying about guys like Canarco and Derek Lee. Well, you, you can only get those guys for two years because I got the crystal ball and I know everything, and in year three he's going to stink, so only sign him for two years. You didn't have to worry about that with Dunn because he's younger. This guy, other than the fact that he's not Mark share at first, and by the way, who is, this guy – Fit the profile of everything you needed to do. You would have saved some face with the fan base. Not only saved some face, you might you might have actually got people to believe in you again. They let this guy go to Chicago, of all places, to the White Sox. And they made him an offer. They offered him a pay cut. He made $12 million last year. And they offered him less money per year than that. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.